Hello and welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic and today's second video. Now we got an email from Joe saying hello I'm not sure if this is something you'd be up for sorry if not. Firstly thanks for your channel we've been really enjoying it in lockdown. Secondly my boyfriend is very into Sudoku but recently last couple of days he's been really struggling with daily killer Sudoku. He used to be able to do all three a day though they did take quite a lot of time. The last few days he hasn't been able to do them and has stayed up until 1am trying. I really want this to stop. He sent me an example of one he couldn't do. I'd like to emphasize that he normally is very good at Sudokus. Not up to you guys standard, but he did your one hour of pure logic Sudoku in a bit over two hours. He also has a maths PhD from Cambridge and is generally pretty smart. So basically my plea is, if it's interesting for you guys, could you do a video on one of the recent hard ones in case he's missing some crucial techniques? Thanks again for the channel, Joe. Well, thanks for the message, Joe. Now, to be honest, we don't normally do kind of requests for computer generated puzzles, but hey, we're all about the mental health and we need to help this relationship. So let's have a look at the puzzle and see if we can uh, help Joe's boyfriend get through it. And uh, maybe it's me having a chip on my shoulder from not having got into Cambridge University. I don't know. Let's have a look though. Um, I've put it in our software. I'll provide a link both to that and to the puzzle in, in dailykillersudoku.com as well. Um, and this was rated 10 out of 10 on their site. So obviously they think it's pretty tough too, not just Joe's boyfriend. So let's have a look and see how we get on. Try it on one of the links below the video if you want before watching my solve. I'm going to give it a go now. Let's get cracking. So I think the first thing to notice is the geometry situation of this 38 cage, which fills all of this box apart from that cell. Now we know by the rule of 45 that every row, column and box must add up to 45. So we take 38 from 45 and put a 7 in there. Um, the reason of that is of course that 1 to 9 add up to 45. So 7 in an 11 cage. Um, the other digits can't repeat so they must be 1 and 3. Um, hmm. Okay, there's nothing else totally obvious. There's no kind of singles sticking out. Um, there's a kind of pattern here. How much does that add up to? I mean, sometimes you do have to just do some maths and hope something pops out. 59, 79, 89, 94, 100, 153. I know people don't like me calling arithmetic maths, but it is. Now, 153 minus 135, which is three boxes worth 18. That's not all that helpful for those. Ah, oh, there's a 17 cage down here. So that's nine and eight in some order. That's one of the few cages that you kind of always know. Oh, okay, the 33 cage that fills most of this box plus nine there would only leave one and two. So plus eight, it would leave one and three. So these numbers come from one, two, and three. That one can't be a three because it's in a six cage. So the six cage is now one and two, one and five or two and four. These two cages in box four add up to 35. If that was four, that's 39. That would need a 1 and 5 here to make the box total up to 45. And suddenly, neither of these could be a 1. That 1 because there'd be a 1 and 5 here looking at it. That 1 because that 4 would need a 2. And one of them has to be 1 because this is either 9, 2, 1 or 8, 1, 3. So that doesn't work with a 4 possibility. So we can fill in a 5. The second number in the grid, that one is 2 or 3. These two add up to 11 now, so we can't disambiguate that at the moment. Now, 35 plus the 5 is 40, and these two add up to 5. They can't be 2 and 3, or you'd have 3 2 and 3s across 3 cells. So they're 1 and 4. Now this 10 cage can't be 1 and 9, can't be 4 and 6. Okay, but it could be 2 and 8 or 3 and 7. Um, 
oh, there is a geometry thing. Look at this shape. And that's made up of boxes that add up, of cages that add up to 28, 53, 63, 69, 72, 102. Take away 90, and that means these two, which aren't, which are the only two, not in the first two columns, add up to 12. Ah, oh, well, that's great. We know they can't be 4 and 8 because 4 has gone into one of these two cells. And we actually know they can't be 3 and 9 because one of these sums that makes 11 here must use one of the 3 or 9, whether it's 3 and 8 or 2 and 9. So therefore, if it's not 4 and 8 or 3 and 9 making 12, it's 5 and 7. And 5 here tells us which way around they go. Perfect. So... That is a decent start, actually. And I mean, anybody could be forgiven for not having noticed that. It, it was useful that I got started on this 33 box and spotted the disambiguation of the six cage as well. But there we go. Sometimes it goes your way. Now, 528147, these ones are 369. Just check the cage total. Yes, that works. So up here, we have a definite six in one of these. Um, and the others add up to 11 as well. They're the counterpart of whichever of two and nine and eight and three is used down here. So, oh, that wasn't what I was planning to do. I was planning to fill in all the candidates there. So six is used there. So this, and because two is used there, this isn't six and two. This is either 5 and 3 or 1 and 7. And look, both 5 and 1 must go into this run of 3 in column 2. So, yeah, whether this is 5 and 3, that would make this 1. If this was 1 and 7, that would make this 5 because of that. Um, so that's either 1 or 5. So these 3 must include 4, which isn't a candidate anywhere else in the box. I um, don't know how helpful that is. Right, up here this 9 cage can't involve a 9, obviously, but there are a lot of things it can still have. Um, 24, 14 cage is low. Right, I mean, as often with uh, Daily Killer Sudoku, the puzzle is uh, symmetrical about this axis, funnily enough. So the same grid geometry things happening here. Now what does this group of cells add up to? 33, 50, 59, 74, 86, 99. So these two add up to 9. Hmm, okay, that's not a helpful sum. There are four possibilities, only one ruled out so far. I'm just going to colour them because I want to remember they add up to 9. Okay, these cells in the two cages fully within box eight, they add up to 24. So the other three cells add up to 21. Could be nine, eight, four, or eight, seven, six, nine, seven, five. Hmm, those are quite large. Okay, but we can't determine what they are, I don't think. This 12 has to either, it can't be 5, 7 anymore because of that 5. So it's either 3, 9 or 4, 8. This 9. Yeah, I can't decide on that. Ah, the 1 means that the 13 cage contains a 1. Possibly a bit unsurprising, but I think now it has to be 1, 2, Three, seven, one, two, four, six, or one, three, four, five. And it can't be one, three, four, five, because one of three or four has to be in there. So it also has to include a two. But we don't know whether that then goes with um, three, seven, or four, six. If it's with three, seven, that's four, eight. Then we get five, six, nine here. If it's one, two, Four six. This is three nine. Then we get five eight seven. So we've definitely got five along there. 
That means there's a 5 down here in the 15 cage, which must therefore have a 1 in it as well, because otherwise the other three digits would add up to 10 and need another 5. So there's a 1 somewhere down here. 6. Ah, and then the other two digits add up to 9, and they can't include 5 and 4 or 1 and 8. And the same is true for the two digits that add up to 9 here. So 2, 3, 2, 7 and 3, 6 are going to get used up in some way in those six cells. So these three are 4, 8 and 9. And one of those has to be a 4. Now that means 8 and 9 are definitely going to be used up between those five. This pair, the blue pair, that added to 9, oh, they can still be 2, 7 or 3, 6. Let's just put in the possibilities. This one obviously can't be 2 because the 10 cage there has a 2 in. Hmm. Okay, this 10 cage um, uh, can't have a five obviously so it could be one two three or four at the moment this can't be five therefore five is in this 32 cage I don't know my five digit 32 cage is enough nine eight seven twenty four plus five is twenty nine nine eight seven five three nine eight six five four those are the possibilities uh, it's not very helpful and I can't really mark it. Oh, what about this cell? This is in a 14 cage, so it can't be a 9. It could just be an 8 if this was 1, 2, 3, which would make this 1. And the alternative is a 4 here, which would also make this 1, as the digit can't, the 4 can't repeat in a cage. So that is 1 either way. That's quite neat. Um, so it could be 8, 1, and then 2, 3 in the other pair, or 4, 1 is 5, oh, that 2, 7, or 6, 3 combination again. That's not that helpful. But that 1 sees this, so that's not 9. Hmm, that's close to paying off, but not quite. Now... Ah, oh, this 4 is in a cage that comes around here. So this can't be a 4. So the 4 in this box, which is obviously in one of these three cells adding up to 489, is therefore here. It's got 8, 9 left. Um, hmm. I thought that was a real... Revelation, but it doesn't actually help find anything. It puts a four. Well, I suppose everything we've done puts a four in one of those two cells. Don't know which one yet. This 24 cage? No, it's all very middle of the roady. Not not that helpful. Oh, but four here in this box. Yes, of course. Four and one is five. This can't be 2 or 3 now, that must be 6 or 7. Now what were the possibilities I said for this cage? <laughs> can't remember. 98753. All that tells me is it would have to have a 3. Or 98654. And that's only if I'm right about how that breaks down and I'm not 100% sure. Hmm, okay, what else can we find to carry on with? This 13 and 11, they're very unhelpful cages. Just not sure what to do there. Oh, this box, what was this going to be? This was either going to be 1, 2, 3, 7, which would make this 4, 8, and this 5, 6, 9. That would make this have to be a 6. Or one two four six three nine uh, five eight seven. Not that helpful. Right, come on. Hmm. 
No, I can't see what to do over there. This 20 cage, it's not that useful. It's quite a small number, so it's probably got a one in. And wherever the one is here will affect that, but I can't see quite how that's going to work. Hmm, okay, this is a bit stickier at this point. Um, still haven't really got any fix. Oh, wait, did this have to have a six in? This was, no, this was one, two, three, seven, or one, two, four, six, right. Okay, come on. Ooh, it looks a bit open-ended at the moment to me now. Ah, oh, one in this box. Right, that's something. One can't rule, is ruled out of those. I mean, it wouldn't, couldn't have been in the 32 either. But 14 and 11 can't have a one in a two-cell cage either. So one is definitely in one of those two. Not down there. Does that get us anything? Not really. If the one was there, no, there could still be a one in either of the bits of the 20, and I'm not even sure it, how constrained 20 is. Oh, that's seven. Should never have allowed me to put a seven in that cell. Hmm. So let's const. Oh, what about this 15 cage? Yes, this was either. This was one and five with either two and seven or three and six in it. Seems quite hard to pick out which way round that's gonna to be to me. If that's four and eight, no, if it's three and nine, then that becomes two and seven, that's five. If that's three and nine, this is six. I can't remember, it's 20, isn't it? So 12, 25, this makes up 20. Is it five, seven, eight? Sorry, I've forgotten how this works. This was either one, two, three, seven, and there's four, eight, five, six, nine. So this is either five and nine with a six here. Eight, seven, three, just so hard to resolve this box here, that cage. Um, let's try it again. So if it was one, two, four, six, that would be three, nine. This would be five, seven, eight, and that's the alternative. Then that becomes nine. This becomes three, six, and that becomes two. Nine, eight, yeah, that works fine. It's a bit hard to see actually where this is going to break open at this point. Now, what was in this 24 cage then? Four and nine would leave 11. Ah, there's too many possibilities to narrow them down that way. How about this 30, which uh, doesn't definitely have a nine in. It doesn't even definitely add up to 11 at all. So again, oh, well, it doesn't have a four in. That's interesting at least because of that four. Uh, this is a tricky point here. I think one breakthrough and we're going, but where's that gonna come? Seven in this box has to be in one of those. One of those can't be in that one. Seven's in one of those two. Seven can't be there because of the 14 total would require two sevens. So if seven is here, six there, 10, 11, 14, three here, that's a two seven pair then. Four, three, two, seven. 
This becomes 6, 5, 9. That's the 6. So this would be 5, 9, 7, which is 21 plus the other 11 must be 8, 3. So that would make this 8 and 3 with a 7 here, 6 here, 2 here, 4 here, 9 here. 9, that would make this an 8. Ah, oh, this is impossible, isn't it? 5, 9 there, 14, oh no, that is possible, 6 there, yeah, this is an 8. So that would be 8, 9 here, 17 and 4 would leave 2, 1 in the rest of the cage, which is tiny. But it is possible. I have a feeling that's not right, but is there some other reason this can't be eight or nine? Not obviously looking up the box. Keep going, come on, let's see what there is here. Two. This is tricky at this point. Now, come on. This could be seven and two. Then we have three. Um, these add up to 20. I just can't keep in my head what these digits are. Seven and two and three. They're five, six, nine. That's what happens when the seven's there. Maybe there's some way of proving that's not a 4, which would sort out the 7s. If that was a 4, this would have to be a 4. That one can't be because it sees that 4. That one's in that cage. So now this would have to be the combination that is 9, 8, 6, 5, 4. This would have to be five, six, eight, nine in the rest of this. Because of this 14 sum. Ah, yeah, that doesn't work. For this to be five, six, eight, nine, and this to be a 14 sum. If that was five, nine, well, this would have to be eight, six, but you couldn't put five or nine there because of the five, nine there. And if it was eight, six, the other way round. Wow, okay, that is pretty complicated, but that does work. What I'm focusing on, just to re-emphasize, is can there be a 4 here? If so, there would have to be a 4 here, because that would be the only place in row 7 a 4 could now go. Row 6 a 4 could now go. That would require the rest of this box to be 5, 6, 8, 9, and that is incompatible with either of the possible pairs in the 14 cage. So, that is not a 4. And that means this is not a seven. The only place left for seven is here. Please, God, that's helpful. Let's see how we go. Right, that seven is looking at that six. 10, 11, three to make the 14. This blue pair is now not three and six, so it is seven and two. And I can make them white again. Um, now, this sum of 20 needs 5 and 6, so it also needs 9. So we can fill in 6 here and 4 there. This is now a 5-9 pair. That, incidentally, looks up at this 14 cage. That can't be 5-9, because that is impossible then. So this is now 6-8. That makes the 11 cage 9-2. We get a one five three pair in a triple in this column, and the three is here because of the one and five already in the row. That makes that one five. Suddenly we are cooking with gas here. That is eight or nine, and it's got to be eight because there's definitely a nine in the cage already. Let's just check that addition because if this doesn't work, I'm going to cry and go home. 15, 18, 23, 32, it does. Good. Two and eight there. 
there. Eight fixes the six, eight pair. We've got a nine to finish the row. It is nine and eight, so this is one and two. That fixes the nine, two pair in there. This is now three. It's the only number it can be. We get six, nine, seven, one, eight, two, five, four, three along here. Uh, but five can't be in the 20 cage because there's already a five in it. So this one is the seven. 5, 12, 19. There is a 1 in the 20 cage, as I rather suspected. 2 and 1. Now this can't be 2, 7, so it must be 3, 6. This is now 9 and 8, because there's an 8 in the box. 1, 5, 7 down here, and they have to be arranged like that, because of this 7 and this 5. Um, and... 5, 9, this can't be 3, 9 anymore. We can sort out the 8, 4, 6, 7 must be here. 2 has to be here because we've got 2, 1, 3 to put in and 1, 3 up there. So that's 1, 3 as a pair. Let's just get rid of some of the corner notation. We'll actually get rid of that one because 4 can go in now. 6 must be there. 2 and 9 can be filled in as well. That five and nine pair is actually resolved. Right, we've got a four, six pair up at the top. This is a three, four pair. Yes, it is, so they're resolved. Oops, three there, five, six and nine. Four, eight, seven there. Now, I don't know the order, but I know what they add up to, which is 19, so this must be the one then that can't be seven, that can't be one, that's all working fine. This cell, one, three, and six, it can all see now. So that's a seven to go with a two. Um, two and eight cannot be in that, or three. So it's a six, nine pair. Um, seven now must be here, because the two sevens are in row one and three. Four and eight, okay. Two and eight to go in those two cells. That means this is six, five. Oops. Five, six. This is four, nine. Eight and four are resolved. Six and four are resolved. Five and three. Yep. Yeah. Two and nine to go in here. We don't know which way around yet. One and eight. Let's just fix the three and one at the bottom. Now, eight and two, they've been done. That fixes the two and nine. Just box one left to do now. Nine and six and three and five. And that's how to do this particular Daily Killer Sudoku. Now, those techniques may not help you with every single Daily Killer Sudoku puzzle or indeed every single Killer Sudoku puzzle, but they will certainly help with some of them. Um, it's you know it's not it's logic rather than bifurcation i think but it is often a case of investigating the possibilities and seeing what the effects are so there you go i hope that helps joe and uh i hope your boyfriend doesn't stay up till 1am solving these puzzles from now on um do tell him to try ours instead if he's having problems thanks very much for watching and i hope to see you again soon on crack encrypted bye for now